Hello everybody, Mr. Mavic, you see we're back at this little desk where I did a little, some reviews earlier. Uh, today, this is kind of a little bit of a, uh, uh, this is going to be a shorter video, a bit of a kind of a placeholder video. I honestly don't know when it's going to release. This video releases on a Wednesday, then it's an extra video for this week, but if it's, you know, the normal Monday or Friday, then that means uh, I probably don't have that many videos, and this video is kind of like a backup one, but I'm recording it anyways, just, uh, yeah, so I can have a, a video out if if I if I need a placeholder video, but uh, yeah. So this video, I am going to be comparing um, the two Hulkbusters, um, the two Mark II Hulkbusters that Lego have ever made. They've only made two versions, the Mark II. Um, well, I think they've only made really one. Ver I mean, they've made. I think this is the only Hulk direct Hulkbuster. They have two versions that are based off the same Hulkbuster because they have the Mark One Hulkbuster. Then they made the Mark Two off in uh, Infinity War. And then I think they made a comic book Hulkbuster, but I don't think they ever remade the Mark One or the, any of the other Marks. They've only remade the Mark Two. So these are based off the same Hulkbuster design. The Hulkbuster based off uh, in, um, in Infinity War. So that's what these this this set came out when Infinity War was coming out and was in this wave. And it came with a side build, and a few other things, but I'm not reviewing it based off the the. The well, whole set just based off the Hulkbuster itself. And also, I'm just going to take the minifigure out of here because the minifigure is not going to be a factor in this uh, in this comparison to do. So, uh, yeah, so just going over and looking at side by side, we can definitely tell there's a height difference. This one is significant, is a little bit shorter than the other one. The same with um, proportionally, it's also a bit shorter. The legs are a bit, um, you know, stubbier. Here, if I move this arm out of the way, you can get a clearer look at that right so the legs and it, as i said before this knee is also bent but it's more of a 90 degree bend and this one's a weird kind of not that so uh yeah but first off just going in this uh so i mean as you clearly know this one is obviously looks a lot more accurate it's a lot more updated than this one this one kind of just looks like the mark one um, but with a few other, just with a different helmet. So you can see the helmet print, just to compare. Oh, shoot. I'm surprised how close my camera can get. Um, so the helmet print, if we get a better, if you want a better look at, oh my God, I mean, my camera's being weird. So better look at that. So it's basically, they basically have the same one. Through, so if I compare, that's the old one. And this is the um, new one. Pretty much the same. The only real difference is that in this one, the silver bits are dark gray. So the old one, they use dark gray. This new one, they use silver. Um, the eyes a bit further apart. They use orange lines instead of uh, kind of uh, black lines. And also this little part, it's a bit thicker on the new one. And this one's just kind of a thin line. But overall the same, still has the mouthpiece and it's pretty accurate to the how the Mark II looks. Now where accuracy kind of ends with this old one is obviously well with kind of the, the shaping and whatnot. They try to do that weird shoulder shape, which is done a lot more effectively on this newer one. We can clearly see kind of the more dynamic and less boxy design, because that's the thing with the Mark II. It's a lot less boxy than the Mark I. See, this one kind of feels kind of like the Mark I. Also, ignore the stickers being backwards. Uh, the reason I got this set, it was actually a friend gave it to me. He was getting ring some of his Legos. That's why I wanted to do this comparison. I just got this, so yeah. Um, now I want to get up with some pros and cons with the actual old one. Now you can obviously kind of see why the um, why the new one is obviously better. The shaping's a lot better. The shaping of the toes, the just kind of how it looks at face value is definitely a lot better than the old one. The old one does have some play features though, if you're into that. Uh, for one, it has a little die on the back where you could kind of use it to punch, which is kind of fun. Uh, so, you know, you could just kind of whack. And you can't do that with the the new ones, kind of a, a lot more of a straightforwards kind of figure where it's just all the posability, you have to move it yourself and it's no, you know, play feature. I think this is actually kind of fun. Now, now that I'm doing this, I think it's a lot of fun. Um, another thing with this one, also some stud shooters, which like I said, is a play feature that I kind of don't like because you don't get that gold on the back of his hand. Like this one, you get a little bit of that gold on the back of his hand. Um, but in this one, the gold on the back of the arm is done a lot better. Although there's a little bit of ugly gray on the side,
But you don't get with this one. This one, you actually kind of get this nice little sticker print. Uh, so the side of the hand isn't so ugly. But this one, it kind of is a little bit right there. Uh, the finger posability is pretty much the same. They use kind of the same joints. Although, although for whatever reason, these this older one's a lot stiffer. I don't know if it's the plat because this, this I mean it's an older set, so you'd imagine it'd be looser the joints, but or maybe maybe I'm just I don't know. But this joints are definitely a lot stiffer. And you also don't get this uh weird kind of you know, because this one had the issue where it would use this sideways piece, which had, you know, two of these um connections, and so this one doesn't have anything on there. So you get that. Still three fingers as usual. The feet are on so this one has a lot more ball joints. This one has actually, I think, no ball joints. So all the joints on this one are very rigid. It depends kind of if you like that. So, I mean, it's definitely a lot more solid, but you kind of don't get that. It's not as smooth when moving it around with this one. It's definitely a lot more smooth, and especially with the play feature. Uh, and it can also stay up, surprisingly. It doesn't like fall down with the play feature, which is pretty nice. But this other one, uh, these kind of technic pieces they kind of put those there just to be consistent with this one but it does kind of sometimes get in the way of uh, moving the arm but overall it is a lot nicer it being a ball joint actually i think this one does have ball joint yeah this one at the bottom of the feet but other than that the arms and the elbows are not ball jointed and this one kind of does the thing that a lot of lego mechs do where instead of having a forearm no, instead of having a, you know, bicep and a forearm, this one just has one arm and a hand attached to it. So you still kind of get that illusion of a forearm, I guess, but it's just kind of one hand. This one actually has the forearm and then the hand, although it's not a jointed hand. One other benefit I would like to get into about this one is that the way um, it actually hides the minifigure a lot better. So... One, it has a lot, like, look at, you get a lot of space inside there for minifigures. So if I fit Bruce Banner in there, which is, this is not the one this one came with. And then if I cover him up, he is definitely a lot, like, you you couldn't tell a minifigures in, in there. Um, where with this one, with the other one, it doesn't open them up as much. The only thing that opens is this head, right? And then you have to actually, the minifigure can't be standing, you have to put him sitting have to put his hands forwards, right? And then like that. And, okay, hold up. You gotta have his hands up a little bit. And then you can still see his hands a little bit. They're, they're kind of hidden by these side panels and whatnot. But overall, I think it, it doesn't do as good of a job as, you know, just being able to put the minifigure in there. It would have been nice if they kind of went with this one where you could, you know, I, I kind of get why they didn't. It would have been nice if you could open the whole thing up like this, but you can't, which is a bit unfortunate. Else, you get this nice little layered look that you don't really get here. I mean, you get kind of the paneled look, but nothing really that layers over each other. And also, they did a lot better with this newer kind of blue where they kind of put speckles in there, uh, opposed to the old blue, which is completely, you know, kind of transparent. And you see a lot of that ugly gray behind it where... In, uh, in this one, you kind of don't because of how uh, less transparent it is. Also, if we get a side, if we see the side here, you can obviously see that this one um, stands up a lot straighter than the old one. So, no, the, sorry, the um, old one stands up a lot straighter. You can see here, he is hunched over a little bit. In this one, he is kind of, his, his back is very straight because of how his legs are kind of very squished together. You know, it's not, you can't find a really defined knee. I guess this would be his knee, but then his leg goes directly this way, which is a bit weird. Um, but it just allows him to stand up a bit straighter and kind of get some nicer poses also, but you can't do the whole, um, his feet are definitely a lot wider. So I guess that's the reason why, but you can't really get as many good walking poses with this guy i could try see that you can kind of do but you'd also do that exact kind of pose with this one a lot better where yeah, if i i could put his foot back and then you can see his toes are kind of bent so it kind of does it but not really another benefit i would like to talk about the old one and i might actually swap this out if i feel like it um is his arc reactor i feel is a lot better than the new one so this this one actually has a stickered piece stickered slope piece with um the not the arc reactor but the hand repulsor oh shoot the hand repulsor and i think this 
actually looks a lot better than what they do for ah, kind of the modern repulsors where they just use this very this blue dish which they've used before for like the iron man figure and whatnot i don't think this looks good because i think it's way too big like that's the entire palm of the hand is the entire reactor but this is kind of it's printed you get some detail in it and it's nice and small so i'm actually going to show you kind of what that looks like because i found that there's a really easy way to swap it out you, you take that piece right take this reactor out take um here take this piece off you put that back on there like so and boom and i think that just looks so much better like one you kind of get some curvature with the hand and two i think that reactor just looks better so um yeah if you get a good arc reactor pose in there uh, so yeah, I think that's something this one has better. Some of the detailing is a little bit, little bit better. But overall, the new one is obviously superior. But posing and you know the hiding the minifigure, I think is a lot better in this one. And I might modify this guy to make him functionally more like this guy, but kind of looks more like this guy. But that's my little comparison uh, video. This ended up being a lot longer than I thought it'd be. Was 11 minute video. So yeah, just kind of deep dive comparison. Uh, if you like the video, leave a like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And uh, don't forget to go watch the 2011 film uh, Rango. And uh, yeah, see see y'all see y'all later. Uh, ciao. Bye-bye. See ya. Sayonara.